Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. We are your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus and Ushamut Zide Pinkavichin. We've been mastering secrets of organ playing for more than 20 years and sharing them on this blog since 2011. On this show, which we create from our home in Vilnius, Lithuania, we strive to help you grow in every area of organ playing, including practice, technique, repertoire, sight reading, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, harmony, and many others. Our hope is to help you become a complete musician, or what we call as total organist, a program which we have created to help you reach your dreams faster than you would do on your own. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe to receive free updates of this blog at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video on how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini chords. And now let's go to the podcast for today. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. Let's start episode 443 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. And this question was sent by Dan. He writes, Hi Vidas, the whole incident at Notre Dame in Paris, France is shocking it's, and sad at the same time. It's really, really good that the main organ wasn't damaged by the fire. Very cool that you'd visit that instrument back in 2014. Is the ever choir organ that they have a totally separate instrument with its own console and everything? If so, how many ranks is it? And is it Cavea Coral as well? A podcast talking about your experience there due to all that's happening would be cool. When you were there in 2014, did you get to have a go at the organ then too? And did you get uh, any audio recordings or YouTube videos when you were there then? If so, links would be greatly appreciated. Take care and all the best from Dan in in Ontario, Canada. Uh, first of all, Osha, <coughs> let's start with with our uh, experience back in 2014. What did we do uh, at Notre Dame? Well, we definitely visited the Grand Organ. We had, you know, our personal tour with Jean Bidian, you know, upstairs on the organ balcony. So we saw that great instrument from inside out. Of course, at that time, you could not play it because it was undergoing restoration. And I think at that time, the console wasn't ready yet. Because the historical console now is you no know, stored. In, in a separate room? Yes, that's right. Behind the organ? Yes. So, but the instrument itself is it's massive. What was your impression with this about it? Did we go to the Vespers there? Yes, but that's another story. Now, if we are talking about Vespers, we have to talk about choir organ. Uh-huh. Because uh, for people who maybe haven't visited big cathedrals and in general big churches, we used to have two organs, two separate instruments. They are not connected between themselves, and this is the case in Notre Dame as well. Because, you know, the grand organ is used for concerts and special ceremonies, but not on a regular basis for liturgical purpose. Because the distance, uh, you know, between altar and grand organ is too big. So, basically, it would be very hard to, you know, to manage everything in such a distance. So for that purpose, you know, there is a choir organ which stands much closer to the altar mm-hmm. and it's used for liturgical purposes uh, to accompany mass and, you know, vespers to accompany choir. Yes, but we could uh, clarify that both organs can be used at the same occasion, just... Uh, just um, um, probably the grand organ would be used maybe as a solo instrument more. That's right. And as an alternative instrument, if they sync interchangeably with 
with choir or, or scholar, but not an accompaniment, because as Osha says, the distance is too great. Isn't alternatum practice now forbidden in the Catholic Church? I, I don't know for sure. But because I know it was forbidden for many centuries, mm -hmm. actually. Alternative means when one verse is sung by the by the vocal group and another verse is played by the instruments, by the choir, by, by the organ, for example. And um, the reason for for uh, Second Vatican Council omitting this, abandoning this practice is that uh, not all of the text will be heard to the congregation. And since text is more important in you know, religious hymns, it means you know, that you need to sing it throughout. Yes. So we looked, we took a take a took a look um, at um, at the online specification we found of both organs, and uh, because Dan is concerned about. Um, uh, choir organ more so let us look at, at the choir organ specification this is taken from the website called mypipeorganhobby.blogspot.com we can put a link uh, into the description of this conversation and um, it has two manuals and pedals yes that's a good size note uh -huh. To manual instrument. 19th century organ case, manual compass 56 notes, pedal compass 30 notes. All the usual couplers, positive to grand org, grand org to pedal, and positive to pedal. And now let's count the, the, the stops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in, on the grand organ. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the positive. And pedals have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 stops. So 11, 10, and 8. How, how many would that be, Osha? <laughs> Can you count? 29. <laughs> 29. <laughs> I need to learn math. True. I was enjoying how you were counting, like in a kindergarten. Uh, with my fingers. Yes. The, the grand organ has uh, Bourdon 16, Monter 8, which is the principle, basically. Uh, Bourdon 8, Prestant 4, which is the principle of the four foot length. Nassar two and two thirds, which is a fifth, fifth, um, fifth. I think of the flute sound. Uh, tiers one and three fifths. Uh, furniture three ranks. Cymbal four ranks. Those are two, two mixtures, right? But furniture is a progressive mixture, I think. That's right. Um, trumpet eight. Clairon 4, and the last one is Desus on Shamad 8, which means that the Shamad division horizontal trumpets are only from the descant, from the treble maybe C or, or C sharp, I'm not sure. And positive has um, a specification as follows, Bourdon 8, Prestant 4, Flute 4, Nassar 2 and 2 thirds, Doublet 2, Tiers 1 and 3 fifths, Larigo 1 and 1 third. Uh, Larigo is a high pitched mutation, basically, high pitched uh, fifth sound. Cymbal 3, Regal 16. Regal means probably short resonator read yes. at 16 foot level. And Cromorn 8. So basically, it's softened with French organ, the case with organ, French organ, that you know the 
second division is basically repetition, small re repetition of you know the larger division. Yeah, it looks similar. Uh, and then pedal pedals, those eight stops. Uh, flute uh, sixteen, bourdon sixteen. What's the difference between flute and bourdon? Well, one has more darker sound. Yeah. I guess flute is more open than bourdon. Mm -hmm. Bourdon is covered. Uh, flute 8, flute 4, flute 2, bombard 16, trumpet 8, and clarion 4. Very interesting pedal division, I would say. No principles. No principles, but, but they have bombard 16. Yes, well, <laughs> true. If you have bomb bombard, you don't need anything else. Imagine, Osha, at St. John's in Vilnius, we also have Bombard 16 in the pedals, but we have 64 stops and three manuals. Here is only two manual organ, but with Bombard also. Well, and with Shamat. And Shamat. I guess they needed uh, to fill the space. That's true. We heard this organ during the you know, Vespers that we are attended when we were visited Paris. Of course, during Vespers, we didn't use these you know, loud read stops. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I would say that you know, the sound of your organ was filling enough. Right. Because that space is so wonderful, you know, has a wonderful acoustics, or at least had a wonderful acoustics. But, you know, it's really sad to talk about, you know, instruments that might not recover. Because, as I understood from all the articles and all our friends that were sending us different messages, that this organ was heavily damaged by water, by waterfall. Mm -hmm. And um, this uh, website that we're looking blog uh, on uh, blogspot.com, mypipeorganhobby.blogspot.com, it has also links to online recordings, YouTube recordings of, of both organs. So we will link it to our conversation so anybody who is interested in hearing those instruments, they can visit this site and and to, without searching on YouTube manually, they can just click on the collection and and listen right away. All right, guys, we hope this was useful to you. Please send us more of your questions. We love helping you grow. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. This blog is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online where you will find courses for every area of organ playing, including technique, practice, sight reading, repertoire playing, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory and harmony, with hundreds of scores and thousands of exercises. Here is what some of the students are saying. Hugh writes, the sight reading course has helped me tremendously. Thank you very much for your SS courses and all your help. Robert writes, I found the fingerings, registration ideas and general comments to be excellent. John writes, I have found your download very helpful. It was really excellent. I have watched some of your teaching videos and when I read your instructions. I try to imagine you are there teaching me. You may feel disappointed that I am two three days behind, but I am a slow learner and I have committed to taking the time to get it right, as you say. But the other night my wife commented that she had never heard me play such a detailed melody in the left hand so well. My left hand is generally poor. Robert writes, It has been a great pleasure in my life of having discovered your courses and material as well as the YouTube work of recordings. You have a calm and pleasant way of teaching. Ron writes, Hi Vides and Osha, thank you guys. What a wonderful response to my email note to you. You've got me right, and I feel you understand my level of playing. Yes, at home and lucky that I have an organ for that reason. 
I am paying attention to this and I am going to try this haha no longer secret model. Yes, and I love Caesar Frank too. What is very nice about your blog podcast is that Osha and Vidas are like a Socratic dialogue and by bouncing things off of each other, so much more information comes out and is expressed. Your comments contain a wealth of information and understanding. I really appreciate this. It is very inspiring and will keep us moving forward. Would you like to receive the same or even better results that our students are getting? If so, join them at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to receive free updates of this blog, make sure you do that at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video, how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini course. This was Vidas and Osha from Secrets of Organ Playing. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen.